Okay, here's a, here's a few notes on uh, mixing on the Tyrannus and uh, Open uh, TX. And it's really uh, an interesting thing that uh, once you get these few small fundamental concepts down, you'll have almost no program, no, no trouble with any kind of uh, programming on the uh, Tyrannus. So we've got a model. We'll do a short click to get to the model menu. And we're going to page over to screen 6, which is the mixer menu. Now here you see I've got it cleaned out. We're going to add a mix to channel 1, which is on this uh, this guy right here. And, oops. and all we're going to do is really simply we're going to take the source and the source we're going to make the rudder. And you'll see it's weighted by 100%. And if we go back, you'll see now that mix is 100% of the rudder. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that same thing on channel 2, not because it's particularly useful, but because it's kind of an interesting thing that a lot of radios don't do. And then in addition, we'll be able to do some things to a channel 2 and compare and contrast to see what it's doing in relationship to channel 1. So we click enter, we select rudder, and that's it. Now we've got both channels, channel 1 and channel 2, taking 100% input from the rudder. Now, what if we need to reverse? Well, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it, and then I'll show you a uh, better way to do it. Let's get back over to the mix menu. And we're going to make uh, channel 2. We do a long uh, hold on enter. And then we click edit. And now you're going to see here, we're going to come down and we're going to change the weight of channel 2. Now I'm going to push the stick all the way over. And you'll see as we put the weight down, so there's like, uh, well, let's make it up to about 50%. Now you'll see that channel 2 is going exactly half of what channel 1 is. As you might expect, if you're at 0%, it's not going to do anything. And if you bring it down to the negatives, it's going to go the opposite direction. So you could do all of your reversing just by changing the weight to minus 100, but uh, there's a better way to do that that will help when you're doing a little bit more uh, complicated mixes. So what we're going to do is we're going to bounce this up to 100 back. There's a shortcut key to do that, but I can't remember what it is that'll set it to 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next screen, click Page, and you can see we can go down to Channel 2, click Enter, we can go over, and we can click the direction. So there we go. Now it's reversed. Now it's normal. So with, those, uh, with that little bit of programming, you're going to have the majority of what you need for just uh, simple, uh, you know, simple, you know, plane setup. You've got uh, reversing, you've got reduced rates. Later in another video, we'll talk about how to put uh, the reduced rates on a, on a switch. But we're going to cover just one more thing, which is how to set up a switch. We're going to take channel 2, and we're going to make it controlled by a switch. And this is really simple. Okay, enter, edit. Okay, the source is not going to be the rudder, but we're going to change the source to be one of the switches. We'll pick switch SA. Now, we can scroll through all these, but if you just click the switch, that will 
set that in the menu. Likewise, if you if you move one of the sticks, that'll set it in the menu. But we're going to switch to a, to switch A, and now what we've got is S A up at the top is going to be a hundred percent, in the middle is going to be zero percent, and then down is going to be minus a hundred percent. So if you're doing like landing gear, something like that, flaps, this will pretty much get you what you need. So that's the basic, that's about 90% of everything you need to know. We'll uh, cover a few more advanced things, but uh, this should get you, uh, get you going pretty nicely.